I got my first computer when I was eight. I soon started programming, even though I hardly know how to read English, but I got it working and that was the start of my career. 20 years ago, it took half an hour to download one single image. Audio compression and video compression were just emerging those days. Today, three quarters of the mobile traffic is video. That's why video compression is so critical. For the last 20 years, Nokia has been leading the evolution of video codings. I've been working with uh, video compression since the early days. So I have been one of the key architects in H.264 as well as H.265 and the successor H.266. The video coding and video technologies that Nokia has contributed to over the last 30 years, they are integrated to billion devices every year and is really in the heart of all multimedia applications and services. Codecs have enabled digitization. Without them, we would be in a completely analog world. We wouldn't have video on demand. We wouldn't have multimedia services in place. File sizes would be enormous. Video conferencing wouldn't be possible. We would have the video compression from 90s. No one wants to see video compression from the 90s. These technologies that we have developed and standardized enable us to compress video by 99% that then can be delivered to consumers. The question that we are facing today is can artificial intelligence actually improve video coding standardization? So we are developing neural networks to tune the codecs to improve the compression even further. I think that the eight-year-old myself <laughs> would have probably thought that that's absolutely fantastic and cool what the close to 50-year-old me is doing nowadays.